If you are looking forward to a custom room, a de-googled custom room, but having all the Google Play services available, all the good things you need in your device, privacy-focused custom room, almost everything what you need, you want to use banking apps, you want to use a lot more things, try out this one. This is Graphene OS. I made a video already on this custom room some time ago, but that was based on Android 13 and it's, it's updated to Android 14. It's a good sign. You can use it in case if you are using a Pixel device. If you are not using a Pixel device, then I think so. It could be available for your device as a ported room. I'm not exactly sure, but if you're a Pixel device user, check this out. This could be a good option for you. I tried almost everything and I tried using this custom room for past few days and I'm not having any kind of major issues. As you can see, if you move on to the launcher, you will not get any kind of customizations, any kind of options. There are only three options available, notification dots and add app, app icons to home screen and home screen rotation, etc. If you need more customizations, what you can do is you can simply change launcher to Nova launcher or anything else. Quick settings panel as expectedly is in dark mode. It is not giving you, it is not having any kind of major options or customizations for you, but it is a de-googled edition, custom edition room, which is having all the useful things, but not having that play services. By default, you can install them. I will tell you later on how you can do that. It is based on the latest Android 14 QPR. So as you can see, it is having the battery cycle option available. You will, you, you will be able to notice how much battery cycle count in your device is. You can adjust according to you these things are available by default available in the about phone section if you move on to the network and internet option you will find the private dns but you will also find the internet connectivity checks which is by default as graphene os server as you can see connectivity check is a special empty server request this could be a very good choice by the way if you enable this option if if graphene OS server is by default selected could be a good choice for you other than else, if I move on to the security options, you will notice scramble pin layout option, what you need, auto reboot option is so useful, it's already included. As you can see, automatically reboot the device if it hasn't been unlocked within the selected duration of time. So you can choose according to your own preference, for example, for 72 hours, if your device is not unlocked even once, it will be automatically rebooted and it will be entered to that lock screen stage once again. USB peripherals option is so good, it is available even in the lineage os it is having all the lineage os goodies but including that some extra features are also available secure app spawning etc some extra options are also present by the way we will also talk about the performance because after using for three days the app opening app closing speed i noticed is so amazing it's so fast and as compared to the stock android or stock pixel if you're a pixel device user if you're using stock room this custom room, this graphene OS brings you better performance things. I absolutely love this thing. After using this thing, smoothness is so good. It uh, My device is having 90 hertz panel, but yes, it feels like I'm using 120. It's so smooth. App opening, app closing speed is so good. All the animations are there, looks good. Including that, let's just talk about the Google Play services, which are not available by default, but you can install them very easily. You have the Graphene OS apps app available by default, where you will find the Google Play services. Install these things one by one, where you can see this is a GMS compact. And I made a dedicated video on this one that how you can install Sandbox Google Play or Sandbox Google Play services on your Android. It supports some of the custom homes like Canvera OS, Voltage OS, and how you can install that, you can check out my video for that. This thing is available as an option for you. We have the by default camera is Graphene OS camera, which was kind of really expected. Graphene OS camera is good. You can also install this Graphene OS camera in some other custom rooms too. If you're using any other custom room, you can try out this Graphene OS camera. It should definitely work for you too. Including these options which are available by default if you're a Pixel device user and looking forward to Gcam, yes it's working fine the gcam is working perfectly fine you can download it from the google play store you don't have to install any separate or modded gcam from google cam hub or anywhere else you can simply go to google play store search for the google camera which the pixel devices support by default and you'll be able to use this thing as this android 14 so new ui is also there everything what you are looking forward to should work it's working fine here let me tell you one more thing. My device is not rooted. I installed Graphene OS. My device is not rooted. Even the device bootloader is locked. So let's just talk about the things. For example, the safety net status, etc. If I open this one, for example, in my case, it's, it's not passing at all. I'm not exactly sure though why, but as you can see, CTS profile is fail. 
Not exactly sure though why because my device bootloader is locked, but maybe this could be thing in Graphene OS because all the Pixel devices, I mean, if you use the stock Pixel with bootloader locked, these things should pass. But other than else, I, I was not getting any kind of major issues. Things were quite good. Performance is good. It is also having the OTA updater by default included. So in case if a device's bootloader is locked and you installed Graphene OS, want to update it to the next version, upgraded version, you can do so very easily. All the options are present here for you. These were things I just wanted to let you know. If you want to install it on your Pixel device and if your device supports that, link is available in the description. This is all. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to drop a like. And also, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.